all the videos I didn't want to make, this has to be the top of the list. Uh, I wanted to make a boiler update a while ago just to give a rundown on how everything is doing and how it's been working good, but right as I was about to get to it, everything decided to not work good and fucking disaster happens. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a we've got a new uh, much larger uh, fitting on the pipe, uh, and uh, we've got the rug that's usually in the hallway here. Why? Because this little son of a bitch decided it was gonna pop. Uh, the old, the old, uh, the old pipe that we had, it was uh, it was very old and it was very brittle and because of the weight of all the water that it was having to take on it just decided to uh, fall and instead of going into the pipe the water went all over the floor <coughs> down the hallway to about where that side table is uh, and all these towels here were what we had to use to actually get everything dried up uh, the rug did help a bit, but it's been soaked for a couple days now. We've let it in here to dry because it does get very warm in here when the doors are closed. Uh, so what happened? Apparently this thing was way too hot. Uh, looking at this little thing, uh, right now it's set to uh, 140 degrees. Uh, the guys that were here to fix this whole situation actually let us know that hot is 120, A is 130, B is 140, C is 150, and very hot is 160, which is what that was actually set to. And in here, in this little thing, there is a, uh, there's a recirculating pump for the recirculating system for the heat in the winter. But that had failed, and when the heat tried to turn on, and the water wasn't moving, apparently it caused this to uh, cause this to overpressurize and that to burst. Uh, and the weirdest thing is, uh, let's see if it can uh, focus. Uh, says somewhere on there it has a has a limit of 210 degrees. I can't really see where is it. There it is, 210 degrees. So that thing, uh, so this thing not working must have really caused the water to heat up beyond 210 degrees, which keep in mind, that's two degrees shy of boiling. That's got to be bubbling right there. Uh, it also turns out that the water going to the house was too hot, so they had to install a new, uh, install a new mixing valve, uh, and when they took the old one out, it turns out it was clogged as hell. So that wasn't good. Uh, but when they came, they installed that new fitting, and they uh, gave the boiler a couple tests, and everything works good. And uh, when they tested it, actually, there was an issue with the heating system where it, were, where it wouldn't work good. At, uh, at your standard 120 degrees, but they set it to 140, which is what the old one was set to, and everything is like normal again. It's like really nothing ever happened between this one and the old one. So now we're back to a relatively normal system, minus the, uh, well, actually, it doesn't look so bad now, but the floor was just kind of screwed up in the end. Because uh, the problem was, I was sick on the weekend, and when it happened, I was taking a nap. So if I was awake, I would have heard this thing in time and been able to shut it off before that pipe gave in, which I don't know how quick it gave in. It could have given in pretty much immediately or as soon as it got full. Because when uh, one of the guys actually cut out that old pipe, uh, the whole thing was full of water. Uh, after they were done, uh, or, yeah, after they were done, they actually called up uh, an HVAC guy, and he replaced the recirculating pump. They gave this thing another test, and it actually worked better, so that, uh, so that showed that the recirculating pump was also a problem. 
they were nice enough to give us some uh, new screws on this thing. Uh, here's a uh, these are the old ones for the bottom panel and this is for the top panel. I think we've got some extras in here because there's only four. Uh, the pins, uh, it was uh, no extra pins because that was all we had. But hopefully we're back to normal now and our only concern is really that we're on the second floor and someone lives below us and we've got to see how they're going to react if they ever come up here to react. Uh, so that's about it. I gotta wash those towels now, but you know, there's gonna be video coming of that. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't get flooded, and don't lose your rugs. <laughs>